David De Gea, the 26 year old has been hailed as one of the best goalkeepers in the world. The Manchester United man has really stepped up his game since he did arrive at the club. He's actually been in the PFA Premier League Team of the Year from the season of 2012 to 2013 all the way to the 2016-17 season. It feels like every transfer window, there's always rumors of him going back to Spain, going back to Madrid, and going this time to Real Madrid. Yet again, those rumors have resurfaced, but will De Gea be leaving Manchester United during this upcoming transfer window, or will he stay at Old Trafford? But today, I've got 10 things that you probably didn't know about David De Gea. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, make sure you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and also turn on your notifications so you get notified every time I do upload. Number 10, Atletico Youngster. De Gea's career started at a very young age. To be exact, he was only 10 years old when he did join the Atletico Madrid youth side. He then got pushed into the senior team when he did represent Atletico Madrid B from the years of 2008 to 2009 and then Atletico Madrid from 2009 to 2011 before making the move to Manchester United. Number 9 coaches most wanted. When De Gea was only 13 years old, three years after he did join the club, the Atletico Madrid coach at the time actually lied about a potential deal with fellow Spanish side Rayo Vallecano. The Atletico Madrid coach at the time told Atletico that Vallecano were on the verge of actually signing him in hope that they would quickly act on it and sign him up. Because of that, the Atletico Madrid board did go ahead and actually got the deal done and De Gea did sign for Atletico Madrid a couple days later. Number 8 friends with Aguero. David De Gea and Sergio Aguero, they might be on the opposite sides of Manchester nowadays, but they actually were roommates when they were both playing for Atletico Madrid. They would stay together whenever they did have their away games. The two actually had quite a bond, quite a friendship while they were playing at Atletico and now face each other in one of the biggest rivalries in Premier League history. Even though one plays for City, one plays for United, it's good to see that even now today, the friendship is still there. Number 7, Farsighted. The Manchester United goalkeeper actually suffers from a condition called hyperopia, which in a medical term is called farsighted. What this actually means is David De Gea actually can see things further away more clearly than he can closer, which means he has to wear glasses off the field. When he is playing as a goalkeeper, he actually uses contact lenses, but the thing is, it has not affected him on the pitch. De Gea has actually come out and said this, that even though he's far-sighted, it has not affected him while he does play football, which is quite interesting. And it's interesting to see a goalkeeper can see things further away more clearly than what he can up close. And being a goalkeeper, you would think it would be a weakness to Dave De Gea, but it actually isn't. Number six, the striker. De Gea has been a goalkeeper throughout his whole professional footballing career, but did you know he was actually a striker back at school? Until the age of 14, he was actually a striker and was the top goal scorer at his school before eventually settling in to become a goalkeeper. Number five, girlfriend represented Spain in Eurovision. De Gea has done very well for himself. He's gone ahead and represented the Spanish national side, but on his other half, his girlfriend has also represented Spain, but this wasn't football. This was actually in Eurovision. De Gea's girlfriend is actually Spanish singer and presenter. Number four, Man United broke a British transfer record to sign him. De Gea has been the starting goalkeeper pretty much since he did arrive at Old Trafford and Manchester United actually broke a British transfer record to actually bring him into the club. It cost Manchester United in excess 17 million to bring him to Old Trafford, which means that they had to break the British transfer record for a goalkeeper. At just 20 years old, there was a lot of pressure on the Spaniard's shoulders to actually come into the squad and take the place of one of Manchester United's greatest goalkeepers, Edwin van der Sar. To this day, it looks like that 17 million was worth it because De Gea has gone on to be quite a valuable goalkeeper, quite a valuable asset to the United side throughout the season. Number three, record winner. The Samat Busby Play of the Year was previously known as Manchester United Football Club Members Play of the Year Award. De Gea has gone on to actually earn this three times, but three consecutive years during the seasons of 2013, 2014, 2014, 2015, and the 2015, 2016 seasons. Number two, four-time winner of PFA Team of the Year. Yet again, the accolades just continue to roll out for David De Gea, and he's the winner of the Professional Footballers Association, commonly known as the PFA 
Team of the Year award. He's won the award four times, just proving that David De Gea is one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League and in the world today. Number one, almost went to Wigan and QPR. So here's a story, De Gea almost went to Wigan in 2010. Not only that, he was approached by QPR to come to the club and sign for the club in 2009. While playing for the Atletico Madrid B team just after a year of signing a professional deal for Atletico Madrid, the championship side actually approached the then 18 year old David De Gea in the summer of 2009, although no deal went through. Pushing on one year later, Wigan Athletic, like I said, were also interested at in David De Gea and wanted to bring him in just a year prior to him signing for Manchester United. Roberto Martinez went on to confirm that a deal was struck between the club De Gea and Atletico Madrid, but it fell through on the final day of the transfer window. What would David De Gea be doing now if he actually left Atletico Madrid to sign for Wigan? Would he be the player that he is today? But that is 10 things you probably didn't know about De Gea. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I'll see you all on my next video.